what you're looking at here is my Dreamforce payroll database where we got a list of all our employees and well the total number of hours they worked that week their hourly rate and then the multiplication between the two gives us their weekly gross pay for that week and the two functions that I want to focus on are the count and count a first of all the count you can see the definition to the right of it it'll count up all the cells with the number well how is that gonna work well, for example, if I want to find out how many employees work this week or logged in hours or a number, let's count up how many actually work by counting up the number of cells that they have numbers in or that they logged their hours in. Well, you can eyeball it pretty quickly just by counting up the cells, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, but you can imagine if you had a huge database, that's going to take a while. Better yet, let's go ahead and use the count function. So hit the equals key on the keyboard and type in the first couple of letters of count until you can see it highlighted and you can see over the left hand side the explanation for the count it counts the number of cells in a range that contain numbers so with the highlighted hit the tab key to pop open the syntax so you can see that the first value or range is what we're going to be selecting just go ahead and click and drag to select it and then if you want to select another range in addition to that then hit the comma on the keyboard and it pops open to the second value or second range and so on so let's go ahead and hit the backspace key because I don't want to focus on two, three, or four more ranges, just this one. Hit the enter key on the keyboard and there you go. Counts up seven. Oh, that's slick. Now don't confuse that with the count down below on the status bar. So for example, when you select a range of cells, it says count down below, right? It's not the same as the one up here that the count function we use to count up the number of cells. This one, when you hover over it, says it's the number of cells selected that contain data. Not numbers, data. So if I come over here and select that range, that range doesn't have any numbers in it, just data, so it's counting them up. In that selected range, we have a total of eight that contain data. Well, let me select one more before it, still eight because the first one doesn't contain data out of the nine that I have selected. So keep that in mind, and in fact, if you want to do a shortcut and not have to type in the function to count up all cells with a number, then just come down here and right-click on the status bar because it is customizable, as we talked about in an earlier training video. There's the count. Here's the numerical count. Just go ahead and check it and then click off. And select the range again. And then down below, you got the count and numerical count. Now this counts up all the cells that contain data, which makes sense because it counts up whether or not it has numbers, text, or a combination or both. But this one will actually count up only those cells that contains numbers. So that one is true to form with using the count function, where the other one is just data, not numbers. So let's go ahead and do count A and it counts up cells that are not empty. Well, how's that going to work? Like for example, if you want to find out how many employees have benefits out of our 10, you can count them up, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, or use the count A function. Again, cells that have something in them or that are not empty. So equals count, and it's right there, so I can just hit the down arrow key, and you can see it says counts the number of cells in a range that are not empty, that have something in them. Hit the tab key to pop open the count function. You have the first value, could be a value or range of cells here. So you can go ahead and click and drag to select it. And then if we have other ranges, we don't. Let's hit enter on the keyboard, and there you go. Counts the cells that are not empty, that have something in them. And so we can say that out of 10 employees, 8 have benefits. We want to give all our employees benefits, and we want to find out just off the top of our head if we have to hold another presentation to kind of nudge those other two employees to sign on for benefits. They pay an extra 50 bucks a month to get all the benefits. That way we don't have to go through and start counting one at a time to see how many there are, but use the count a function, those cells that have something in them or that are not empty. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, as soon as I upload a new video, you'll be notified instantly, and you can do that by coming over here and clicking on my face. You can also click here to support me, so for $2 a month, you can have access to over 2,700 training videos, all ad-free, and for a few bucks more, you can have access to my exercises, instructor notes, quizzes, certificate of completion, and a whole lot more.